All right, what's up, YouTube? This is PopTech. I'm doing a review of this um, solar power USB um, portable charger. I got this from Amazon for a couple of dollars. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now I'm gonna do some footage right quick from the beginning part where I um, kind of tested it out in the sun and stuff like that. So here it is. Here. I had to cover it up because as soon as I hit the sunlight, it um, started to work. So as you see now, I'm just sitting in the car. I'm gonna sit in the car all day, see if it can charge up. And if you move the sheet, as soon as it hit the sun, it starts charging. It's an instant pick up to the charge. You see the lights there are blinking. So I'm gonna put it out in the car and see how it does. All right, so it has now been about four hours, and you see it's still charging in the sun, which I'm not for sure if it's fully charged or not. I have to take it inside, but this is still charging, not plugged up. It was sitting in the car the whole time. So as you see in the beginning part, I did it did, did in the sun in the morning. Um, then checked it in the afternoon. The battery didn't really do much change to it. Um, so I actually plugged it up to the actual USB port, which is in here um the middle part right here and put charge it up so it's at full full charge right now so, so you can see all four lights of blue um but i did notice something else about it while i was doing it playing around with it i'm gonna get into more details about it but i had to just say this quick note about it then when i put on the light for example with my camera light here you can see it is charging because the light is blinking blue so it, it can even charge this from regular led lights but it i say this the charging um through the solar panels here are not the best for quick charging but it will charge it might be also for the fact that simply because if you look at the back of it it is a um try to remember which way there you go it is a um 12 is it 12 000, 12 000 millihertz um charger portable charger so it takes a little bit a lot to charge this up um so let me turn this light off real quick. It's not gonna be as good, but um, you can see here that um, it's pretty big. It's um, my phone is actually bigger than the iPhone X, this regular X that you see, and this is with the case on it. Um, still have like a lot of hangover on the sides, but it's about width wise is about the same. Um, so it's a pretty good big size for battery. Has these nice solar panels that's on the front of it, which you saw how it worked with the regular room lighting that I use on to here. Um, you have the power indicator right here. And then you have this option here. This option is actually for the lights that you see at the bottom here. All you have to do is hold it and you see how it bright it got real quick. Um, it actually is really bright in a room as you see here. Like you can see how it's just making a good spotlight. Um, if I could make the room dark, but it's really bright. It's like good flood lighting. So if you are out somewhere and need some lighting, you have great lighting. It doesn't drain the battery as much because it's also an LED um, lights here. So LEDs, you know, doesn't use a lot of battery life. So I'll turn it, push it off, turn it off. Oh, and I just, not, I just realized it has a flashing feature on here. And then strobe light. Sorry for those who have any issues with strobe lights. And then you turn it off. Um, this is um, pretty good size. Like I said, it's um, really useful. On um, the back of it, as you see, is just straight. Just that. There's nothing there. It's real rugged. It's actually supposed to be um, waterproof, dustproof, and everything proof. As you see, there's no real open exposed areas, even for the um, charger ports here. It also has um, good covering right there. And it also has a cover right here, which I'll explain that later as well. Um, so, open this up. And as you see, it has two ports here that you can use for um, charging things. Um, both of them are the standard uh, things like one point something uh, millihertz that it puts out. So, it's um, not a fast charger, but it's good. It can charge things pretty good. Um, then the middle port here is if you want to plug it up to a wall and charge it itself, charge the charger itself. Um, that's good. And you look here, it's a nice thick rubber here. And so when it closes, it makes a good, 
airtight seal that no water and nothing can get into it. Now, I actually had to go online and look this up because it didn't say anywhere about what it is. But this here is actually a cigarette lighter. Um, let's see if we can focus on that real quick. But you can kind of see the coils there that it has in there. Um, I was not able to get it to light anything. Um, when I try to use it to light something, I may be doing it wrong, but I have to do more research on exactly how it works. So, also, it came with uh, this keychain. And the keychain you see here has a compass on it. Um, the compass is actually pretty accurate. Right now, it's saying that the way that y'all are looking is um, north is like this way over here. Um, I will say I will change out this um, canopy hook here because this is a kind of thinner metal. I don't want to have something this thin holding on to something this heavy. Um, also, I may just opt out of this whole thing here and just put the um, a thicker like wire in right here to hold this here because this like it can t come loose as well. Um, either way, I'll have to just try to adjust and see what I want to do to it. Um, like I said before, it does pretty good with charging. It can even charge with just using regular uh, LED lighting. Um, you can see how it's leaking now with this lighting here. Um, I do have this on just to so you all can see a little bit better now in the lighting. I didn't want to have this on the whole time to have this blinking, but um, it has the solar panels here, like I said before. Um, picks up instantly. As soon as some light hits it, it picks it up instantly and starts charging. Um, power indicator here, you have the flashlight option right here. Let me turn around for y'all. So you have the power indicator here, and then you have the power uh, light, flashlight indicator here. Flashlight again is at the bottom. You just have to hold it, and it comes on as you see here. It has the tap options you can do, as you see. And then it has the strobe option here. And turn it off. Um, rugged design, very good. The op side thing here, like I said, it's what it's supposed uh, to be a cigarette lighter, which I have yet to figure out how that works. I don't smoke, so I have to find some other option to find a way to um, get it to light, to show how it lights. But I'm guessing if you're out in the wilderness, if you can find a way to make this work, you can start a fire with this, but I'm not for sure yet. And then you have the top part here with the USB. Clearly, it says USB here. Um, with the USB ports here, two of them there, that's good size that um, space wise, you can fit um, pretty nice size. Speaking of, I got this actually with the charger. You get you get a um, USB cord with it, so you can do a charging with it if you want to. But um, you see it fits that, and the USB charging port, you would just charge from the USB part here and charge into the part there. So that was my quick review of the um, solar power LED lighting. All right, sorry about that little issue with the camera. Um, solar power LED light. Um, as you see, it's still charging here. Um, I will say I would do this again. This is a pretty good buy. I got actually a lightning deal on Amazon for like $20, which is a pretty good price for something like this. I wanted to get something that's more... Um, compatible to do um, more items like because I have I'm again I'm going and I'm traveling so I need something a USB charger a portable charger that's not going to die on me for example like this one here which is not this is a good one worked for a while but it stays at like a half charge and this is only a um if you look at it if I can, can you see it it is a uh, 20 a 5200 a milliamp so this is okay for a while but with me having a phone a camera and all the other stuff equipment like that I need something that's gonna be able to keep the power and be able to power it itself pretty much um, so thanks for watching this is my tech video on the solar power um, USB flashlight LED cigarette lighter everything you need to know compass um, device thank you for watching